Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's a girl, Precious ALK. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys on purpose discovery. You know, just navigating your purpose in life. Many people have this belief that you know they have to know everything they need to know before they start anything, or they have to you know have like the best knowledge about the field they want to do. I will just say it's okay not to have anything figured out. It's okay not to have everything figured out. And the thing is, we have been, there's this thing I've been painted to us that, oh, you have to know your purpose, you have to know everything. But the funny thing is, I guess you have to know your purpose. You have to know one thing you want to stand for, what you want to do. But the thing is, as you keep growing, some of the things you want to do might change. And there's nothing bad about it. But at the point you love medicine and surgery, and now you love communications, you want to go into media, it's not bad. You can you, it doesn't, you can look for a way to merge both of them together. Or if you don't, you can just face communication or face new media. So you don't have to wait till you have everything figured out. Like many a times when I say people that, oh, why have you not started your business? Why have you because you love entrepreneur, you want to have the biggest market in the world, you want to have the biggest market, the business, finance, selling market in the world. You know, and you've not started anything. You're like, oh, I have to wait till I have 10 million naira, I have to wait till I have 100,000 dollars. You have to wait till you have everything figured out. You know, you have been thinking of starting that website to share stories, to share videos, and you want to wait till you have all the standards figured out, all the structures figured out. You do have to have everything figured out. The beautiful thing is, you're not the only one making that mistake. Those that are in their forties, in their fifties, are still trying to be like, "Am I really sure I'm supposed to be here?" No, some of them, yes, might have have it figured out. Oh, they're supposed to be in business, and they're in business. And that does not mean they will not face challenges. That does not mean they will not face difficulties. So it might be like, "Oh, I'm on this. I'm on a self-discovery. I'm on a personal discovery." You might make mistakes, but keep moving. Ask for direction from God. Ask for have wise people around you. Have wise friends. Have you know, mentors, coaches around you. But still, don't wait to have everything figured out. I mean, let the basic thing be figured out, and don't waste time trying to figure everything out. That's the mistake my generation is making. Some people want to have everything structured out, and I'm like, is it possible? That's how, how we even have a story to tell that oh I started from here and now I'm here. I started from 100 now I'm at a thousand. So I'll say don't wait till everything figured out. That thing in your mind that you want to start, start it now. That action you want to take, take that action now. You know, turn into a thousand mile beginning with a step. But a person that is going to a thousand mile and must take a step, we still be at the beginning of the journey. I won't have taken any step to anywhere. Imagine you want to go to London. I want to go maybe by plane or by ship and you are still in your house still deliberating of how to get to london you will never get to london until when maybe you get your passport you go and book your ticket you get a visa before you can go you pay for the trip you can get your visa get you know you can get your visa get a ticket and if you do not make the effort of leaving your house to the airport you would get to london so that is it and that does not mean that on the way you won't face traffic might not be, you won't face maybe air turbulence, you won't face maybe some issues. It doesn't mean you won't face all those things. But you still have to keep moving slow and steady, they say, means the race. The people who celebrate today, the people who celebrate in the world today, all of them went through various stages. Many at times might have questioned them so that I might really on the right path. But they still keep on pushing. As one thing the Holy Spirit keep reminding me, just keep moving, keep pushing, keep putting in the work. Might have seen the results, but keep moving, keep putting in the work. I feel this thing is for someone. Keep moving, keep putting in the work. Don't wait till you have everything figured out. That's the mistake you might be making. Talk to relevant people in your life. Talk to, talk to, get a coach, get a mentor, get someone that you can speak to, your covenant friends. Speak to them and let them direct you. And it, at the end of the day, it is still your decision. I remember I was talking to someone, I was like, I can tell you what to do, but at the end of the day, it's still your decision to make. I can't make that decision for you. So, it is still your decision to make. Nobody can make that decision for you. Put in the work, put in the effort. You don't have everything figured out. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody try and you know, paint it. And if you're trying to look at somebody else's success to judge yours, 
who tell you that who told you that you won't one day be more successful than the person or you guys who we both you guys be successful together so don't be that oh somebody up there oh when i get there we are all different some people manifest in their 20s and my skill it up to they die until women to their 60s 70s 80s some people manifest in their 30s which is good but in their 80s but it's good that we manifest early to the world but still, if you manifest early in your 20s, as well as you manifest in their 30s, you that you manifest in your 20s doesn't make you bigger than the person manifesting in their 30s. We are all going to be and the beautiful part is that we all know ourselves. So keep putting in the work, pray, the journey to self-discovery, the journey to purpose, it's not always easy. You have to pray, you have to seek God's guidance and you also have to understand what you want to do and not it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit the like button, share to your friend, let your people journey to self-discovery and you know, do all those good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.